Sure they can? I'm having a really bad day. Oh, I'm so sorry. But oh look. <gasps> Welcome! Hello! To hello, hello! Hello! Welcome! <laughs> we are back for another cool story about another cool superhero. Yes, we're gonna learn about Yefta. Amazing. Yes. About bad times and how superheroes can get through it. Everyone is just going through the motions. Yes, let's go. Enjoy it. We will sing, sing, sing And make music with the heavens We will sing, sing, sing Grateful that you hear us when we shout My child, stop. Your past does not determine your future. Take a new page. Let me show you who you are. Today's story we read in Judges 11. Jephthah was a mighty warrior and his father was Gilead. His mo mother was a woman who had done really bad things. Gilead's wife also bore him sons, and when they were all grown up, they drove Jephthah away. You are not going to get any inheritance from our family, they said, because you are the son of another woman. So Jephthah fled from his brothers and settled in the land of Tob, where a gang of scoundrels gathered around him and followed him. Sometime later, when the Ammonites were fighting against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Come, they said, be our commander so that we can fight the Ammonites. Jephthah said to them, 
Didn't you hate me and drive me away from my father's house? Why do you come to me now when you're in trouble? The elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, Nonetheless, we are turning to you now. Come with us to fight the Ammonites and you will be head over all of us who live in Gilead. Jephthah answered, Suppose you take me back to fight the Ammonites and the Lord gives, me them to, gives them to me. Will I really be your head? The elders of Gilead replied again, The Lord is our witness. We will certainly do as you say. So Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead and the people made him head and commander over them. And he, rep he repeated all his word before the Lord in Mizpah. Jephthah's family life was complicated. He didn't have the same mother as his brothers. His parents were not married and his relationship with his brothers was really rocky. His brothers saw him as the odd one out, as a reject. They were horrible to him. They thought they were better than him and they even told him so. They were mean to him and made sure he knew that they thought he didn't belong. Their destructive words and negativity must have been a lot to deal with. Have you ever had to deal with people's negative and destructive words or deeds? I think he must have felt terrible. I wonder if he started feeling hopeless, depressed and maybe worthless. I wouldn't blame him if he did. Sometimes having a difficult family situation can make life very challenging. In Jephthah's case, his brothers eventually just chased him away. I wonder if his dad knew what his brothers were doing. I wonder if he even knew his mom. This character that we are talking about today certainly sounds wounded. He doesn't really sound like someone who turned out to be a hero. He was pushed out of his family. He was told that he was not good enough. He had nothing. But you know what is amazing? God was with him even when things were at its toughest. God never lost hope. He didn't even think any less of Jephthah when his life was difficult and his brother said he wasn't good enough. God didn't judge him based on his history or the mistakes others made. God knew Jephthah was great. God took his hand and showed him how to be a hero, even when people didn't believe in him. God's plan wasn't derailed by people's negativity and hurtful words and deeds. God is powerful and loving. Through his love and power, he knew that Jephthah would do great things. God can turn this story around to be amazing and that's exactly what he did with Jephthah. Guys and girls, you are good enough even when things go wrong. Even when friends or family or people at school are nasty to you and you feel like you're nobody, God doesn't think any less of you. You are great even when things get complicated or really difficult. Turn to God every day to regroup and hear what he has planned for you. Ask him how he sees you so you can hold on to the truth rather than the things people might say. God will show you how to be a hero and do important and wonderful things. Look at Jephthah. He turned out to be a leader. God called him to lead the Israelites, his brothers who had once called him an outcast. How amazing it must have felt to have the opportunity to be who God calls him to be rather than staying stuck in a lie that others told. You don't need to let other people get you down. You are God's beloved child, called to do great things with God every day. When things go wrong and people are nasty and you find it difficult to believe you're good enough, Tell Jesus all about it. Take your sadness to Jesus and let him remind you who you are. Let him help you take the next step. Let him help you to be who you really are. Let's pray together. God, thank you for teaching us through these wonderful stories in the Bible that you love us and that we are who you say we are. 
You have chosen us, you have made us, you have a wonderful plan for our lives. Please help us to remember every day, in all circumstances, to know who we are in you. Amen.